Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sivaldo Grim here and welcome to another video. Yet another tier list, we haven't done a tier list in a while and this one is going to be about uh, what characters to level up first because in just two mobile XP capsules are not something that's very easy to get and it's definitely going to be a grindy process. So uh, if you upgrade the wrong things, uh, that's, that's pretty much the general the gist of it in just a mobile if you upgrade the wrong things you're going to have a bad time and it goes the same with characters xp levels because for some characters it's very very mandatory for them to be at max level and for other characters it doesn't really matter and some characters are just a waste of uh, level up capsules uh, so yeah uh, i have this tier list here we're going to have a few tiers here uh, there's nothing that's not gonna be in the top teams that's gonna be included in the first three tiers. We're talking about top teams for raids and sorry specifically because those are currently, as the time of making this video, the only relevant modes in Just 2 Mobile for E9 Champions Arena. Anything can do well, so I don't really put accent on this. And uh, we'll try to, yet again, keep in mind this is by no means a tier list ranking the characters. We'll have uh, a lot of very strong characters in lower tiers because some characters just don't need to be leveled up. Like for example, Batman Ninja Robin, you need him to have to be at six stars for his passive to be upgraded. But since he's just a support character and he almost never sees combat, there's no reason for you to rush into upgrading his level. That being just an example. So keep in mind, this is not a tier list about all characters. I do have one of these. Just go to my main channel page, and I think it's the pinned video. So yeah, what well, out of the way? Let's get into it. We have Aquaman, I mean he's a very strong character in Arena and Champions Arena, but it's gonna go in the tier of if you want to upgrade him. And when you upgrade characters, you need to keep in mind that you are going to get two things. You're going to get a little bit more attack and health, and at the same time you're going to get more points to be uh, able to be put in your abilities. Uh, so Atlantic Armor Aquaman is gonna benefit from all of this, but at the same time you don't really have to have him. A screen arrow, you definitely might need to level up this dude because uh, he's a power drainer. He's going to power drain the enemy with his passive and with his special one, and he might need to be high level for his special one to be used. But yet again, he's not really something that's used every single time when you use a certain team, more of a situational thing. So while you should definitely get this dude eventually to level 70, you'll most likely have other priorities. Arkham Knight Batman first, you need to level up this dude as fast as possible because he's going to be um, uh, the uh, combo builder for Harbor Carly Queen, so his stun needs to be maxed, so you get the max duration on that one. Though, yet again, if you don't have Harbor Carly Queen at the moment or you don't plan on using that team and you have other priorities, this uh, might drop all the way to third tier as a screen arrow. It really depends on your situation, so it's up to you to evaluate that. Uh, this dude doesn't matter. A trust us again, it's gonna go into the whatever tier list. He's a support character that you're going to use only for the passive and situationally. Black Adam, you can upgrade him if you want to. Like, he gets a lot of benefits and a lot of percentage increase on the chance base effects of his abilities if you upgrade him. And he's a decent damage dealer, but he doesn't make him the top 6 or even the top 7 uh, top teams. So it's, it's a matter of... If you want to build Black Adam, and that's a decision that you should take yourself, it's not like a general uh, advice of build or not build him. So yeah, uh, this guy is also whatever, strong support, but he doesn't need to be leveled for any reason. Whatever, Black Manta, uh, I'm going to actually put Black Manta into a second. Because while you will benefit heavily from having Black Manta upgraded, the only thing that you're really getting out of it is going to be a tag, because he usually doesn't use his abilities, and even when he does, he doesn't rely on them that much. There is an argument to be made for the burning effect on the special 2 if you need to apply it, there's an argument to be made for the stun duration on the special 3 to be applied, but yet again I really really feel like he's not a top priority, because he does not rely uh, on the durations of his specials and on his specials in general as other characters that we'll take a look at. Keep in mind, there will be very few characters in the first tier. The characters that are going to be in the first tier are characters that simply don't function correctly without their max level and their abilities upgraded. Robin, yet again, if you want to. Uh, again, a amazing character, you'll have him in the bed manager team for the passive, but at the same time, there's nothing that he needs to be leveled up for. I mean, yes, his abilities are very strong, but yet again, Katuma is just so much better, so you'll end up not using him almost at all. So, yeah, if you want to. Uh, let's just drop this uh, garbage in here. 
and they don't even benefit that much from being leveled up. I mean, Batman, yeah, Batman might benefit a bit, but who cares? Yatuman goes to first. She's going to have uh, one or two, depending on your build's uh, ability durations that you're going to rely on. First up is going to be uh, the special two duration. Uh, special two is going to heal you, inflict damage on the enemy, and at the same time proc lethal attack hits to uh, get your passive damage up the passive from Batman Jarabin, so that by default gets her to first tier, and then if you don't have a lethal build, though I do recommend nowadays you go for lethal build, you'll also need an increased duration on the special tree lethal attack uh, chance, and also an increased percentage on that one as well. Rod is going to go into the third thing, like in the third category we'll have a lot of situations like Grod, where you'll have characters that are a staple character in one of the top 6, 7 to 8 teams in raids and soul raids, uh, and, but at the same time they don't really rely on uh, their skills, on their, on their active ability, so they don't need them to be as quick as possible leveled up, but again you're going to use them as a combo builder eventually, so you at the very least want them eventually leveled up just for the passive stats that that provides. Uh, then we'll have uh, this thing also in third, like uh, Batman Jah Harley Quinn is going to be a character that benefits the other bad ninja characters just by being in your roster and gives them a percentage of the base attack and base health. And the base attack and base health, oh boy, what a surprise, are increased by the level, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, well, this is not gonna be a huge value and is by no means a priority. You might want to eventually look into it. Don't care, Brainiac first. Brainiac first. Like, if you got tech capsules, get, get, get your manta, like, to level... 40 to 50 and then go all the way to max level with Brainiac because your Manta will deal much more damage if you do that because Brainiac relies on the uh, uh, lethal attack damage that he provides to legendary characters on the special one and the higher level Brainiac is the more you're going to get out of that special one so you are really in a rush to get him to level 70 to get that special one to level 70. I just throw in there some more garbage. Again, this guy goes into if you want to category, kind of the same deal as with Black Adam. Uh, this guy is uh, a support, but he doesn't rely in any way, shape, or form on the level that he is. He could be level 1, but if he's 5 stars, he will reduce as much armor as a level 75 star Superman will reduce. Uh, some more garbage in here. Dark side, if you want to uh, support character, doesn't need to be leveled. Uh, Entangling Poison Ivy, I think, is also going to go into third. She doesn't use, uh, for the most part. There is a specific scenario against the boss Enchantress where all your abilities are disabled except for the special tree, and that's when you might want to use the special tree of uh, EPI for the stun to proc it for Harbor Carly Quinn, and then you tag her in and she deals the damage and all that good stuff. But that's a very specific situation. She, for the most part, will be, yet again, the scenario of an active sometimes combo builder, and while it's not a priority, you should eventually look into leveling her up. Again, any character that is like above the if you want to tier should ideally be gotten as soon as possible to like level 40 or 50, because uh, after that point it gets very grindy and it requires too many XP capsules for you to be able to gradually get all your characters. Some more garbage in here. Again, I don't think I need to explain myself why Firestorm is not the priority to upgrades. If you're a new player to this, and I'm not explaining a lot of this, just trust me, anything that's in this tier does not need to be leveled up. Harley, uh, it depends. I'm going to put her in uh, second for now. Uh, now nah, let's just put her into first, because nowadays a lot of teams rely on her special too. Like on top of that, she's obviously one of the best damage dealers, so you want the passive attack that comes with the level. And at the same time, uh, when you're using her, let's say with Raven, or you're using her without an Arkham at Batman, and she's the character that's uh, built stun for herself, you're going to need that special uh, two to max level. Uh, not for the duration, but for the stun chance, because this is sadly a stun chance ability. And even at max level, it has like a 2% or 1% chance to fail, and it will fail you a few times at unfortunate moments. But you want to reduce those as much as possible, as quick as possible. Elbow yet again, if you want to, this is a tank that you might situationally use in dot and hazard fights. So if you want to, I guess, go for it. It doesn't matter. 
the Scarecrow doesn't matter. This guy yet again, if you want to build yourself a classic Just League team with Just League Cyborg and Just League Flash, you can eventually upgrade my boss Aquaman, my, my boy Aquaman as well. But uh, yeah, he's not a priority in any way, shape or form. Some more garbage. Uh, this dude is going to go into third because uh, he's mainly going to be in the same scenario as Robin here, where he is the support for team, for Just League team, no matter if you're using either Superman or Just League Flash as the damage dealer. But at the same time, in some very specific scenarios, he's going to fill the role of Ace Green Arrow in terms of being a power drainer. And he's going to be a power drainer relying on his special 2, and that needs to be as high level in order to increase the power bars that have been decreased. This guy is going to also go into a second here. Uh, he doesn't rely that much on the level, but he's in the top uh, six, six teams for most of the game odds. So you, you'll want to get him uh, up there for the uh, passive stats. For the little bit more attack. Uh, Flash... Um, mm. I don't know, like, uh, if you make the choice of going straight for Superman, though he's not easy to get and you're not building your Flash and you're keeping your Flash as a support character, it's yet again the same scenario as it is with Robin. But at the same time, there's very few people who can transition straight into a Superman, and a lot of people have just like Flash as damage there for a long time, and he does well. So I'm gonna keep him in second. This guy, if you want to, because he's sometimes built as a tank, and you might want to level him up for the passive stats. Don't care. Kimflan Sakomen will go into second again. He's gonna go into second for the same reason as uh, the other two guys, because uh, of the passive attack that he receives and some levels to his abilities. Like there's mm, let's let's actually put him all the way here, maybe. Because uh, it just seems unfair to put him with those dudes over here, because those slats are going to mainly rely on their basic attack hits to deal the damage. And Kim Flan Sakomen is going to rely on his special attacks. And while leveling them up does not influence them much by percentage damages or stuff like that, he's gonna use a lot of abilities, so I guess he would benefit more than those characters over here from being high level. Then so yeah, let's let's just give him the first year. Uh less of Joker. Yet again, let, let's just give this dude second tier. Uh, because he works very similar to everything that's here relies mainly on basic attacks. The only thing that you would benefit from except for the passive stats by upgrading him is getting that special 2 to a higher level. And while that again doesn't provide any percentage uh, values, it's going to give you a little bit more damage. But I don't think it's as core to his gameplay as Kim Flan Sakomen using special trees and stuff. So I don't know. If you want to do this, be my guest. I'm not going to do that myself. Arshman Hunter yet again third is going to be a combo builder for Silver Banshee, so eventually you want to build him, uh, you want him to be leveled up. Okay, some more garbage. Multiverse Armor Supergirl yet again. Mm, actually, 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 hold on, hold on a second here, lads. I think we're going to go with this with Multiverse Armor Supergirl, because she relies a lot on the level of her abilities. I don't know why I didn't think about this at first, but yeah, the higher level she is the more the duration of the burn on the special one is going to be, and the higher the crit chance and the crit damage on the special tree are going to be. And those are very core aspects to her gameplay, and to some extent, unless she's like above level 55, I don't remember exactly what was the threshold for that, because I tested that, but that was like one year ago. But yeah, unless she's above a certain level, you'll not be able to use the most optimal gameplay, because the burning that you need to keep refreshing before it expires will expire too fast for you to be able to do that. So I guess we're putting her in the first in terms of le leveling up. Some more garbage in here. Multiverse Flash it again is going to be... Again, the characters are not necessarily garbage. Not all of the characters that they put here are garbage, but I don't really see a direct reason for you to want to level them up fast. Multiverse Flash it again, he doesn't really benefit in terms of ability upgrading from being, for being high level, but it's going to be a combo builder for one of the top teams, so eventually you want him leveled up as well. Some more garbage in here. Brat or Batman? It depends here. Look, it depends. You might, you might, he might drop all the way here depending on your scenario, but for most people it will actually not. Because this dude is going to be able to do two things. He's going to have a stun bomb that's going to stun the enemy and he can be used as a replacement in terms of Arkham Knight Batman over here as a combo builder for Harbor Harley Quinn. And at the same time, uh, his special one can disable, so it can be used as a replacement for Reverse Flash for Silver Banshee. 
So, uh, and at the same time, you might have Arkham Knight Batman or Raven, and you don't need him for the Heartbreak Harley Quinn team, and you're using Reverse Flash for the Silver Banshee team, and in which category you don't really need him, but most people will, so let's put him all the way up here. Uh, Power Girl gets in the tier of if you want to, she's going to be the same the same deal as with Robin, she's going to be a support character that you will not really actively use that much, so level doesn't matter for her. Some more garbage, garbage to be thrown around in here. Again, the characters here are not all garbage, okay? It's just characters that don't really benefit your progress that much from being leveled up. Raven is gonna go all the way up here because she deals tons of damage and uh, the duration on her power still really depends on her level and it really makes a difference because if you go for a short darkness cycle uh, with the special one, like you do, the, you apply the darkness, then you tag in the damage to her, and as soon as Raven is ready, you tag her back in. If you do that cycle, if you have like a 40 uh, level 40 Raven, uh, the power steel will no longer be there. But if it's a level 70 Raven with a level 70 special one, the power drain will still be there when she's tagged back in, and that's kind of a crucial mechanic at points. Red Hoodie doesn't matter, like he's used for his super move, he's one of the top teams. I guess we can put him here, maybe... It's very weird with Red Hood and Power Girl. Uh, let's just leave him here. Uh, okay, we don't need this. Zero Banshee, I would tend to put her all the way here as well. Because yet again, while she doesn't rely on percentage chances on any of her specials really, it just increases her damage. And out of all the characters, I think out of all the characters in Ingest 2 Mobile, she's the, characters that the, the character that relies mostly on special attack uh, damages. Same as with uh, Multiverse Armor Supergirl. So she's definitely going to be a priority to increase your overall damage for her. But again, there's an argument to be made to do this. So I don't know. I'll ah, just leave her here. Okay, some more stuff in here. Dr. Fates is going to be third. It's going to be a combo builder for um, Kimflan's Aquaman. So you eventually might want to level uh, him up uh, for the for tanking, for a little bit more health, but that's, that's definitely not gonna be a priority. Some more stuff in here that doesn't matter. Look, for example, this is a character that's a very high tier character. Definitely, if this was a all characters tier list, it would be in the first tiers. Silver Green Arrow, amazing passive. But yet again, he doesn't really... It's, it's not mandatory for him to be high level because he doesn't depend on percentage chances uh, on the uh, special abilities. He doesn't uh, depend uh, on uh, dealing damage, and he's not used as a combo builder, so yeah. Shazam is uh, going to go in on if you want to, like Shazam is a very good character if you build him and if you upgrade. Now nah, let's, let's just put him in third, because while yet again you could you could live your in, entire just mobile career with an unupgraded Shazam, he heavily benefits from his abilities being upgraded, thus from his level being up. And I guess you'll benefit more from leveling up Shazam than most of the things that are in this tier. Uh, so yeah, we'll just put him here. But yeah, the, the thing is, you will not use him ideally as a combo builder, because he can randomly trigger his passive that heals the entire team. And you might be like, that's useful. No, that's annoying when you're on the clock trying to deal the most damage you can in a most minimal amount of time. Uh, but yeah, he, he his second ability and third ability have percentage chances that benefit from him being leveled up, though at the same time I guess the same deal as with Black Adam, so let's just put him here. Some more garbage in here. The Suicide Squad team might have some synergies with some percentage chances with, with, with their abilities, but honestly I really don't care enough about them to check, they are absolute garbage in raids and so raids. Goodbye, just, just, just sit here and shut up. Okay, some more garbage. Uh, with this dude, it's gonna be uh, an argument to be made, and also let let me let me let me bring this real quick as well. Those are two characters that you might wanna level up for the purpose of uh, free arena points. Like uh, those two have a freeze, both of them on the special two. Freeze is going to be pretty much the same as a stun, only it bypasses the stun resistance. So you're going to be able to just spam special two in arena and win fights this way. Just just use special two, and that's all about those characters, that's that's all they do, and they win fights in arena. And of course the duration on the special 2 of the freeze is going to be reliant on the uh, level of the characters. 
So I guess there's an argument to be made to level them up for that purpose, though yet again I wouldn't see that as a priority. Reverse Slash is going to go in this tier, same deal as Dr. Fate, he's going to be a combo builder, you'll be fine at about level 50 with good builds in terms of the gear rolls, but you'll eventually might one upgrade him, and yeah, some more garbage in here. But this is a whole list, let me know in the comments what you think about this, what you would change yourself if you agree with it. And so with all that being said, I hope you found this useful, and I'll hopefully see you all in the next one. Goodbye!